and welcome back to another edition of Rise and Shine Yoga. I'm Paul, uh, the owner of Oxford Yoga Studio in downtown Oxford. And joining us again this week is Stephanie. Good morning. She, she's come back from her trip to uh, Barbados. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> she just uh, did some R&R. &R, so. um, glad to be back. So, as always, let's start seated at the front of our mat. So tall, close your eyes, get you your hands on your knee or in your lap. Start to settle the mind, check in to see where your body is this morning. Get your breath under control. For the next 30 minutes, you don't have to go anywhere, you don't have to be anywhere. All your chores or tasks. You don't have to worry about it until the end. And as we start every practice, I want you to set an intention. I want you to consider this a dedication, something that helps you get through your practice this morning. This intention can be for yourself, for your family, for friends, for the world, the universe, or whoever you'd like it to be. And so make that intention now and seal it in as you bow your head. And with our intention made, Let's start to deepen our breath, the yoga breath, or ujjayi breath as we call it. Deep inhale through the nose, and exhale through the nose. And as we exhale, we want to constrict the back of the neck, back of the throat. We want to make a fogging sound like we're fogging in the mirror, a hot sound. Start to deepen that breath now. This breath is slow and controlled throughout our practice this morning. There's no huffing and puffing, no heavy breathing. Just slow and controlled. And this breath, like our intention, I want you to use as a guide throughout your practice. If you find that you're rushing through the poses, that you're getting out of breath quickly, please come back to the breath. Yoga is really all about having good intentions, good actions, and strong, controlled breath. So deepen the breath with our intention made. Let's begin our practice by rolling forward into tabletop. Your hands are directly underneath your shoulders, your knees directly underneath your hips. And take a quick look back between your legs. If you can see your feet, just bring them back behind your knees. And we're gonna do some cat cows as they're called. So you're gonna inhale, drop the belly, lift the head. And then exhale, round the back like a cat. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the head. Exhale, round the back. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the head. And exhale, round the back. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the head. And exhale, round the back. That one more time. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the head, and exhale, round the back. Come back with your flat back. Now I want you to bring the big toes of your feet together. Sit back on your heels as we do our first child's pose of the morning. And as always, this pose, this pose of safety, child's pose, I want you to come to at any time during your practice. When your mind's wandering or the poses are too challenging, your breath gets too shallow. Come back to this pose, this pose of safety. For our yoga practice this morning, is really not a competition. It's not a competition with your neighbor or yourself. It's just doing what you need to do to take care of your body this morning. So please, come to this pose when you need to. I'll slowly come back up, tabletop, 
And we're just going to do a little bit of core work to start to warm up the body. So inhale, reach your left arm straight in front of you with your thumb up, your bicep by your ear. And if you'd like, extend your right leg back, about hip, to, hip height, hip height, toes pointing toward the back of the room. This kind of pose is both balance and core, so if you're shaking or moving, it's perfectly fine. And then exhale, release both back to the mat. And we'll do the other side, extend the right arm straight in front of you, bicep by the ear, then extend your left leg back and like the toes pointing toward the back of your mat. Your gaze should be just slightly in front of your mat. And release both back to the ground. Now we're just going to do a little bit of a flow. So we're going to inhale our arm, left arm straight, our right leg back. Then we're going to exhale, round the back, do a little crunch, knee to elbow. Exhale, extend, round, crunch. Inhale, extend the arm and leg. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, straighten. And release both of the mat. Now we'll go on the other side. Inhale, right arm forward, left leg back. Exhale, crunch, elbow to knee. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. Inhale, lengthen. Place both back to the mat. Now from here, bring your right foot between your hands and your left foot. Slowly make your way up to a standing position. Really reach your arms overhead. Exhale the palms together. Samas TT. Take a quick break. Maybe get a drink of water. We'll see you in our next segment of standing poses. Friday night fish at the Oxford American Legion Hall. It's delicious. We love the Legion. They have great fish and good family fun. American Legion fish fry. It's awesome. And the drinks are good. The food is good. The service is awesome. People think I'm trash. They're wrong. Today I'm just an aluminum can, but one day I could be a stadium.
Welcome back. We will continue with our standing poses. So check your foundation, feet about hip distance wide, you're standing up tall, core is engaged, shoulder blades back. We're going to do a few sun salutation A's just to continue to warm up the body. So inhale, really reach and rise the arms up. Exhale, slowly fold forward, hinging at the hips. Inhale, look up halfway, your hands come to the floor or a shin. Exhale, bend the knees, step back or jump to the top of a push-up. Then exhale, lower all the way down to the bottom. Inhale, straighten the arms, lift the chest, up dog. Exhale, uncurl the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. And since this is probably your first down dog of the morning, you can bicycle your feet. In down dog, you want your hands firmly pressed into the mat, your fingers spread wide. Eventually your heels will touch the mat. Your gaze is back toward the back of your mat. And everything is strong here, good breath. of your next exhale look between your hands bend the knees walk step to the front of the mat inhale look up halfway exhale fold forward and stay here for a bit I want you to bend your knees and if you can grab opposing elbows we're just gonna dangle here everything is relaxed I find this is a good stretch for the lower back back of the legs let your head just like gravity, just take your head to the floor. You may sway side to side. Maybe close your eyes and breathe. Now, if you are grabbing opposing elbows, just let them go. Your hands can come to the floor or shin. Now, inhale, slowly make your way up to a standing position. Reach and rise. Arms overhead, peel back then. And exhale, palms together, center of the heart. Right into the next one. Inhale, reach and rise, the arms overhead. Exhale, full forward, hinging at the hips. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, bend the knees, step back to the top of a push-up. And slowly lower down, keeping the elbows in tight all the way to the bottom. Inhale, straighten the arms, lift the chest, up dog. Exhale, uncurl the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Now from here we're going to do something called the pendulum. So on your inhale, shift forward into a plank position or the top of a push-up. And keeping your feet and hands where they are, come back to down dog. Ideally, your feet and hands never move. So you go to the plank, back to down dog. And if you have to adjust, that's fine. But ideally, you're not adjusting your hands and feet. This is a really good way to determine your placement, your correct placement. So inhale back to a plank. Exhale back to down dog. Inhale, shift to plank. Exhale, back to down dog. Two more times. Inhale, shift to plank. Exhale to down dog. Inhale, shift to plank. And then exhale, back to down dog. We'll stay here for five breaths.
the end of your next exhale, look between your hands, bend the knees, walk, step to the front of the mat. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, reach and rise. Really extend those arms. Exhale, palms together. Center of the heart, Samas Titi. So we're gonna do a little flow from warrior one to warrior two. So again, check your foundation. Feet hip distance apart. We're gonna inhale, the arms overhead. Now we're gonna step our left foot back to the back of the mat. We're gonna have a little bit of a bend in our right knee. And you wanna make sure your knee is just over your ankle, not over your toes. Your arms are strong and they're by your ears. Your gaze should be look up toward the ceiling. Your hips are to the front of your mat. And of course, your breathing. Maybe coming back to your intention that you set at the beginning of our practice. Now from here, I want you to straighten your right leg, pivot your right foot to the long end of your mat, pivot your left foot to the back of the mat, keeping your arms strong, putting a lunge in your left knee, Warrior one to the back of the mat. Now from here, bring your palms together at the center of the heart. Bring your arms out to a T into what is called warrior two. Again, your knees just over your ankle. Your arms are strong, but your shoulders are relaxed. Now inhale, straighten your back leg. Pivot your right foot in. Rotate your right foot to the front of the mat with a bend. Warrior two to the front. Exhale, windmill the hands down to either side. Step back to the top of the push up. Lower down. Inhale, straighten the arms. Lift the chest up dog. Exhale, uncurl the toes. Lift the hips, down dog. Look between your hands, bend the knees, walk, step to the front of the mat. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, reach and rise. Exhale, palms together, center of the heart. And we will see you in our next final segment with our seated poses. So take a break.
Welcome back to our final segment of Rise and Shine Yoga. We're going to start in a standing pose and then we'll wake, make, ah, excuse me, we will make our way down to our seated poses. So for this one, bring your feet a little bit together. And you might be familiar with this one now, Ukutasana or chair pose. So we're going to inhale, reach and rise our arms and we're going to sit back into a chair. Take a quick look down and make sure you can see your toes. If you can't, come back up a little bit. Your arms are strong. Your gaze can be in the ceiling or in front of you. And of course, you're breathing. Now from here, we're going to twist and open our arms out to the right. Inhale back to center. Twist to the left. Inhale back to center. Twist to the right. Inhale back to center. Twist to the left. Inhale back to center. Straighten up legs. And bring your palms together at the center of the heart. We're going to do one more flow with Dukatasana in our chair pose. So again, with our feet close together, they don't have to be touching. Some people prefer touching. It doesn't really matter. So we're going to inhale, arms up, sit back into a chair. Now we're going to bring our palms together at the center of the heart. And we're just going to twist to the right. Maybe hook our left elbow around our right knee. Now you want to make sure that your left knee doesn't poke out. Sometimes that happens. Your gaze can be to your right elbow. Inhale back to center. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale back to center, twist to the right. Inhale back to center, twist to the left. Inhale to center, stand up straight, legs, arms up. Exhale, palms together to center of the heart. So now I want you to widen your stance for a Buddha squat. Your toes can be pointed out toward a, an angle, it doesn't really matter. Bring your palms together at the center of your heart and just come down into a squat. If this is not comfortable to you at all, just make your way to a seated position. If you want a little bit more, I want you to take your elbows and press them on the inside of your legs so that your arms kind of are a straight line. You're sitting up tall. It's just another good way to really open up the hips. And smile. A laugh, maybe. Now from here, and if this is available to you, I want you to extend your right arm in front of you, wrap it around your right knee, Maybe take your left arm, have it reach your hand in the back. And if it doesn't, that's fine. At least you have your intention of doing it. It's a really good twist. Ideally, your heels are on the ground. Release your bind, come back to center. And we'll do it on the other side. So extend your left arm straight, wrap around your left knee, take a bind with your right hand if it's there, maybe look over your right shoulder. Release your bind, come back to center, Take your right hand, place it behind your right hip, left hand or on your left hip, and just make your way to a seated position. Once you extend your legs straight in front of you, your toes are pulled back, you're sitting up tall, your gaze is straight. We're going to inhale the arms up, then exhale, fold forward, hinging at the hips. Maybe you take your peace fingers, wrap them around your big toe. Inhale, come up halfway, exhale, fold forward, 
and you want all your toes pulled back, it's possible. If you can't reach your toes, maybe bring your hands to your shin. We don't want to round the back. We want to have a flat back. We want our heart coming toward our toes. Deep breaths. Now release your bind. Now we're gonna do what's an Ashtanga, an optional vinyasa. It's not optional right now, so you're gonna do it with me. So we're gonna inhale, back, cross our ankles, roll forward to tabletop, and then come back to the top of the push-up. Slowly lower all the way down. Inhale, straighten the arms, lift the chest up dog. Exhale, uncurl the toes, lift the hips, down dog. Then look between your hands, walk, step to the front of the mat into a seated position. So now we're going to do, you have the option of reverse plank or reverse table, and I'll just show you the two options. Reverse table, you put the soles of your feet firmly on the mat, they're about hip distance apart, your hands are back behind your hips with the toe, with the fingers pointing to the front. Then you inhale up, that's the table. Or you can do reverse plank, extend the legs in front of you. Your hands are right behind your hips, same position. And then you inhale. So I'll give you that option. We're gonna hold, do one set for five breaths. So whichever option we're gonna hold. Inhale. You want to really keep your hips up. You tend to want to stay. And release all the way back down. Make your way to a seated position. I want you to cross your legs, sit up tall, close your eyes as we seal in our practice this morning. Bring your palms together at the center of the heart. It's been an honor and a pleasure and I thank you for letting me guide you through your practice this morning. We will see you next week for another episode of Rise and Shine Yoga. And as always, we end our practice with the word Namaste. The light in me, bow, shine, reflects the incredible light within each of you. Thank you so much, guys. Namaste. Namaste. Watching OCTV, Oxford Community Television, serving Oxford, Addison Township, and the village of Leonard.